Good morning, good morning guys. We got a couple hours to sleep here at the hotel and we went to Starbucks and got ourselves a good cup of coffee. Now we're going to start making our way home. Yeah, so let's get on the road and have ourselves a great awesome day. Well guys, we uh, just made a pit stop at a pilot truck stop up here. Montana in the middle of somewhere. <laughs> yep. Fill the car up. Now we are good to go. Yeah. So let's get back on the interstate. Put the hammer down towards home. Yeah. Continue 1.8 miles, then keep right onto I-15 North. We got 833 miles to go to Fargo, North Dakota. Yeah, so that's a long ways. But we plan to get there for tonight. At least that's the plan anyways. But we can drive pretty fast on this highway here. Right here it's only 65 mile an hour speed limit, but uh, for the most part it's been 75. So you can cruise her along here pretty good. Oh yeah. Anyways, we've had ourselves a fantastic morning so far. The sun is finally In 1.1 starting to come miles, up. keep right onto I-15 North. Alright. Well, I certainly don't want to go 15 that way so oh, I guess my lane is ending here so I better get over to the other lane <laughs> anyways we'll see what else uh, happens today looks like we got some big mountains up ahead of us there still I guess Montana is fairly hilly that's for sure well guys we uh, stopped here in Billings Montana and we're gonna go have ourselves a little bit of a Breakfast, yeah. Time to go have a bite to eat, you know. Have a look at this. The restaurant just up here at the corner, and we're gonna have ourselves an awesome breakfast, I think. Well, guys, if you ever want to drink a good cup of coffee, here it is. Just have a look at these humongous cup of coffees. This is the restaurant that us that we are at in Billings, Montana. Look at that. It's just a huge cup of coffee. Have a look at this beautiful breakfast we got up here. The wife has got a nice breakfast too. What's that called? Quesadilla. Quesadilla. The son took the same thing. He's so hungry he can't wait to eat so. Let's dig in and have herself a good breakfast. We are still cruising along here in uh, Montana. Seems like Montana it takes forever to get through to through Montana. Oh yeah. Still got 474 miles to go to Fargo, North Dakota. But at least it's not as uh, I like to say foggy, but it's uh, not as uh, much smoke in the air as there was further towards Washington and Idaho and all that as you guys probably have seen in yesterday's video there was a lot of smoke in the air up here it's nice and sunny plus 29 degrees today it doesn't really feel windy at all either perfect temperature perfect weather just enjoying the day oh yeah, a little bit hilly every once in a while, but other than that, it's a nice smooth roll. We'll see if we can actually make it home today. Oh, there's a couple of deers on the field over there. Yeah, yeah. Looks, looks like we're going to be going into a valley again up here. And that's kind of what we get up and down up here. Every once in a while we go downhill and then 
into a valley. Oh, it looks like a truck broke down up there on the ramp. Looks like the tow truck is just coming to get him. Coca-Cola truck up there. Don't even know how far we got to North Dakota border, but all I know is Montana seems to be a long way to get through, that's for sure. Still fairly dry up here as well. I heard in Winnipeg we got lots of flood there the other day. I think over the weekend we had lots of rain up there. And a lot of floods going on or flash floods or whatever they call them. Oh well, not in our control. Oh, I like going through a valley like this. Makes it kind of different from what we're used to or what we're used to seeing anyways. Almost looks like they got a dirt bike uh, trail through there. Oh, or maybe four wheelers are going through there. Yeah. Anyways, we'll continue on with our journey and see if we make it home today. I kind of hope that we will. I would hate to have to spend another night at the hotel and then drive again tomorrow. I wouldn't mind just going home tonight, get a good night's sleep and be all rested out for tomorrow. But we'll see what happens. We are just about through Montana and we stopped at a uh, rest area up here in Montana slash scale. Yeah, look at this cool building that they got up here. I love it. That's one thing that I like about the United States is you can drive on almost any highway and you are most likely to find a rest area. Up in Canada, that's a different story. Right? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. We bought him a Seattle shirt. Looks and pretty nice, eh? Yeah, and my sister. We bought her a purple one. Yeah, that's right. Purple, pink one. I forget. They got a few tables like these. You can sit right underneath the shade. And if you're here with the truck, you could have yourself a nice dinner here and sit outside and enjoy the beautiful weather. Right? Mm -hmm. You're trying to climb that? I already did three times. You already did? Oh boy. Well, I guess it's time to hit the road again. Try and make our way home, right? Yeah. Ready did a circle check. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we got to check the tires, right? Yeah, well, that's what they call it, circle check. We'll do a post-trip inspection. Got to check the tires, make sure they're all full before we head out again, right? Yeah. That's right. All right. Let's get back in and get out of here. So get some more miles behind us. So we'll be back in a minute or two. Guys, just take a look at this windshield. Have a look at that. Looks like we've been in some kind of bird shit storm or something. Yeah, let's clean it. See if we can clean that off of there. Yeah, that looks pretty ugly, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, sooner as soon as we get closer towards Manitoba, it seems like we're getting a lot of birds and uh, not birds, uh, bugs and stuff like that. So we <laughs> we are clean our windshield more and more, you know, just closer we get towards Manitoba. But anyways, we got about 95 miles away from Fargo right now. Just pulled over at a rest area here on uh, 94. Figure I had to go use the bathroom. I ain't been driving for three hours since we fueled up, so time to go take a little bit of a walk and take a break. We'll use the restroom and all that good stuff. So here we are, starting to look much better now. So let's get out of here before it's dark. We are in Fargo, North Dakota, in a hotel. Yeah, and it is about 10 11. Already 11 minutes after 10 central standard time 
and we are done for today we are tired we have had a long trip 1300 and about 1320 kilometers altogether today over 900 miles <coughs> excuse me and we figured that's enough for today so we will be sure to see you guys tomorrow we got about four hours to go home and uh, yeah, getting ready to go to bed here so we shall see you tomorrow so thank you guys for watching and be sure to stick around for tomorrow you never know what could happen so have a good day and uh, we will see you in the next one Time to move on Put this behind me